thing with preschool. In this morning's disability report, Eyewitness News anchor Jose Sanders takes us to a local preschool that's teaching some unexpected life lessons. The proverb says, train up a child in the way he should go, and even when he's old, he will not depart from it. At the Chicago Lighthouse, they're taking that message very seriously, teaching tolerance to young minds by opening young hearts. At first glance, they look like any other preschool class, playing, laughing, and having fun with each other. But this school is different. It's at the Chicago Lighthouse, and it's called a blended preschool with youngsters of varying abilities. We have six visually impaired children um, out of the 19, and you'll see some of the uh, kids without visual impairments kind of look out for them. Um, some of the kids have other disabilities, and they're more careful around those kids. It started two years ago as part of the mayor's Preschool for All initiative, helping young minds develop empathy and understanding of people who may be different from themselves. That will help us instill some sensitivity and respect for diversity. For five-year-old Madison, there's an added bonus. Although the little princess does not have a visual impairment, her mother, Don, does. And mom says the school helps the two of them to relate even more. My daughter is able to see her mom's vision through her peers. Teachers say it is amazing to watch the kids look out for each other in this environment. At this young age, they simply want to make sure their little friends are okay. Like one of the boys needs to cover his eye. Oh, one of the girls will go and get his eye patched. They want to really, they want to help. There's really... They haven't come from a negative place. The school is free, but there are certain qualifiers like income and disability. And even though four-year-old Jahan does not have an impairment, the Lighthouse Preschool has already made a world of difference in his life. His mother knows just how important this experience is for him. Because I have family that have special needs. I have a brother that's deaf and mute. And I wanted to, you know, put that on him to show him the qualities of that and show him the things that he can do. And that's the general idea. It's great to see this philosophy that you had about blending um, a disabled and non-disabled population at this age and seeing the results that you hope will bear fruit later in life. 